Welcome to this spoken tutorial on searching items in DSpace. In this tutorial, we will learn to find an item using browse, find an item using search, and find an item using discover. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS 18.04. DSpace version 6.3 and Firefox web browser. However, you may use any other web browser of your choice. To practice this tutorial, you should have installed DSpace 6.3 on your system, Tomcat service should be running, and have archived items in DSpace. If not, then please go through the prerequisite tutorials on this website. To follow this tutorial, you should have knowledge of library science. This tutorial assumes that you have done the immediate previous tutorial assignment in this series. If not, please do so before proceeding ahead. An archived item with open access is accessible to anonymous as well as authorized users. An archived item with restricted access is accessible to authorized users only. DSpace offers browse, search and discover features to find archived items in the collection. Now, let us proceed to find an item using the browse feature. For this demonstration, I will find an item with the title Secure State Estimation Against Sensor Attacks in the Presence of Noise. Open a web browser and go to the DSpace interface. Click on the Browse tab in the navigation bar. DSpace facilitates item browsing by issue date, author, title, and subject. Let us browse the items by issue date. For that, click on the issue date. Browsing by issue date page opens up. Scroll down and locate the results table. An index of all archived items is displayed. By default, items are sorted by the issue date in ascending order. DSpace facilitates jumping to a specific point in the index. To do so, we choose a year and month from the drop-down next to the label Jump to a point in the index. Alternatively, we can type a year in the field next to the label or type in year. 2017 is the issue date of this item. Switch back to DSpace interface. Let's type in the year as 2017. Then click on the Go button. Observe the results table. The index of items with 2017 as issue date is shown. The results table also has an item which we browsed using issue date. Click on item title to view the item. Metadata of the item is displayed. Files in this item table shows the files available for the item. Click on the Show Full Item Record button to view the full details of the item. The full details of the item are now displayed. Next, let us browse items by author. Click on the Browse tab in the navigation bar. Select Author from the drop-down. The Browsing by Author page opens up. While browsing items by author, first we will locate the author and then the associated items. Locate the Results table. The table shows an index of all authors. Author name and the number of items archived by the author is shown. Alphabets can be clicked to jump to a particular point in the index. 
that is, where the author's name begins with the chosen alphabet. Shonath Mishra is one of the authors for this item. Switch back to DSpace interface. Now I will click on the alphabet M. Observe that the results table shows authors whose name begins with alphabet M. Alternatively, type in the first few letters of the author's name. This can also be used to narrow down and locate the specific author in the index. Let's type the first few letters of the name of an author in this field. I will type Mishra, then press the Go button. Observe that the results table shows the author whom we queried. Click on the author's name to view the items archived by the author. Items archived by the selected author are shown in the results table. The results table shows an item which we browsed by author. This is how archived items can be found using the Browse by Authors feature. In a similar way, items can be browsed by title and subject also. Now, let us learn to find an item using the search feature. Click on the Home tab in the navigation bar. Keywords are used to find items using the search feature in DSpace. Enter a keyword in the search field of the navigation bar. I will type the keyword State. Then click on the search button. The search page opens up. Locate the item hits table. All the items having the specified keyword in metadata are listed in the results table. The item hits table shows the item which we searched by its keyword. If the results show a large number of items, then finding a particular item can get tedious. DSpace facilitates refining the results using the search scope and filters. The drop-down next to search is used for setting the scope of a search. This drop-down contains options like all of DSpace and the name of all communities in DSpace. For this demonstration, I will keep the default all of DSpace option. Also, I will keep the same keyword which we entered earlier. Additionally, we can apply filters to refine the search results. We can add filters like title, author, subject, date issued, has files. I will select the title filter. For a chosen filter, we can set operations like equals, contains, id, not equals, not contains, not id. I will select contains. Next, we need to provide filtration criteria in the field in the filter section. Filtration criteria is used by applied filters for refining the search results. As a criteria, we can provide title, author, subject, date issued, etc. As I have selected the title filter, I will set this criteria. This criteria is nothing but some words from the actual title of the item. Then click on the Add button in the Filter section to apply the filter. Observe that the search result is updated. And now the search result shows only those items that fulfill the filter criteria. The item hits table shows an item which we searched using the filters. We can apply multiple filters also by following the same steps mentioned earlier. We can remove the set filters by clicking this cross button. I will skip this. Next, let's proceed to search an item using the Discover feature. DSpace Discovery enables item search using facets. The search page has the Discover section. The Discover section contains facets for author, subject, 
date issued and has files. Facets are breakups of search results into categories like author, subject, date issued and has files. Each listed record in facet shows the number of associated items. Now let us find items using author facet. To do so, click on the author name in author facet. Again, I will choose Mishra. Observe that the search page is updated. Locate item hits table. Observe that the item archived by the chosen author is displayed. This is how we can use search and discover features for searching items. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt to find an item using browse, find an item using search, and find an item using discover. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, Please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by the Ministry of Education, Government of India. DSpace Spoken Tutorial Series is funded by the National Virtual Library of India, Ministry of Culture, Government of India. This script and the video for this tutorial was contributed by Pankaj Patil from IIT Bombay. And this is Nancy Worky signing off. Thanks for joining.